fight week is back, fight fans. Can't wait. And there's no fight week like a Conor fight week. The notorious one is back. As you can tell, I'm very excited. Welcome to another episode of Irtiza vs. Mustafa Sports Talk. Well, I guess it's another red panty knife for Dustin Poirier. He already cashed in once. He's doubling it up. He even said, actually, I heard, um, um, I think yesterday he said that, or a few days ago he said that, I'm making three to like ten times more in this fight than I'm, I would make uh, for a title fight. So why would I take a title fight and not help feed my family? Which I totally agree with. He's, you got to go for the money in the fight game because most people's careers are very short. And it's a dangerous, dangerous sport. Well, we're going to break down the main card. I'm not going to focus too much on the prelims, even though there's some good fights there. Um, we're going to start with the main card and give our picks, prediction, and we're going to really break down the main event, which is Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. UFC 264 is coming up this Saturday, and I hope you all enjoy. Well, let's start right away. You know, we're going to start with the first fight. That's Sean O'Malley versus Chris Montunio, I believe you say his name. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I'm going to go with Sean O'Malley. The sugar show's on. I'm all aboard. I think he's the next big star. I think he's going to be the best fighter in the bantamweight division. He's soon to become a champion. And I think definitely Sean O'Malley is going to win. And it's going to be Sean O'Malley via knockout, I believe, in the second round. That's my prediction. Sean O'Malley is going to knock out Chris Montenegro in the second round. Uh, as for the second fight, uh, the women bantamweight fight, Irene Aldana and Yana Kunitsika. I think this is a tough fight to choose from but I'm gonna go with Irene Aldana I just think she has more in her total package in her total game that she 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 has more weapons so I think she'll win because of that well before I I choose these we're gonna do two fights at a time so pick our two and then the next two and then the main event and don't act like you know who you talk the two women fighters come on man you don't know who they are (laughs) <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know who they are. But back to the picks. Sean O'Malley is going to win. First round or second round knockout my pick. And the woman bantamweight fight you're talking about. No disrespect to them, by the way. Um, Irene Aldana and Yana Kun. I can't pronounce her name. But um, I'm going to go with... Um, it's, a, it's For real, I don't even know who they are. So I'm just going to... I'm going with Yana. Just to be against me? Yeah, just... I have no idea. Makes sense. But next fight, we do know we know all the other fights for sure. So I'm going to pass it over and he's going to take his next two picks. Alright, the next fight is Tai Tai Vusa and Greg Hardy. I don't know how to pronounce Tai's name, but I've seen him fight multiple heavyweight times. Fight. It's the heavyweight fight and I think Tai I think Tai is going to knock him out in the first round. So I'm going to go with Tai via knockout first round. And the uh, next fight is the co-main event. I'm super excited for this fight. Big fan of Steven Thompson. Uh, but you know what? No, actually, I'm going to stick with Steven Thompson. I think Wonder Boy is going to be Gilbert Burns. I think he's going to win by decision. Uh, I think it's going to be a striking spectacle. And I think he's going to outclass him in the striking game. Okay, so for my picks, the heavier fight, Tai Tayavusa if I'm pronouncing the name right, this is Greg Hardy. Now, we know Greg Hardy punches hard, but I don't think, he doesn't have stamina. He's got like one round in him, two rounds. So, I'm going to have to go with the same pick, Tai, Tai Vusa, or Tai Vasa. Um, Probably third round knockout by the time he gets tired because he doesn't have the best stamina. And Gilbert Burns, this is a really really interesting fight. Welterweight division, Gilbert Burns versus Steven Thompson. Now, as you know, the champion is Kamar Usman. Everyone in the top five he has beat other than Stephen Thompson. He hasn't got a, f- a chance to fight him. And the only person to come close that actually hurt Gil- um, Usman is Gilbert Burns. Um, so what I've seen from Gilbert Burns lately, I'm going to have to pick him. It's a close one. I think Stephen Thompson can win by decision. But I think Gilbert Burns has too much power. And it's going to end up finishing Stephen Thompson. I'm going to go early. I'm going to go first round. I'm going to go first round with this one. So now, it's off to the main event. We're just going to break down. We're going to do our picks and break it down. 
Uh, let's not let's not disrespect uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson like that. He can easily knock out Gilbert Burns no, that's too. That's why I said it's a tough pick. It's a tough pick, but I don't think oh, Wonderboy might. I don't think he's gonna knock him out. I don't know. I'm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change my decision. Instead of a, a, a decision win by Stephen Thompson, third round knockout, Wonderboy. Mark my words. All right. All right. Let's move on to the main event. Cause like I said, there's no fight like a Connor fight. It's definitely a red panty night for Dustin Poirier. But, you know, as great as Dustin Poirier was last fight, I'm going to have to go with Conor McGregor. I think Conor McGregor, I don't I don't know if it was much of his stance. I, I mean, the stance definitely made a difference. If he had more of a karate stand, he would have probably done better. I think he was looking through Dustin Poirier the first fight. He was already looking towards the Manny Pacquiao fight without fighting a uh, MMA fight since his Khabib loss. So he didn't even... Or sorry, he fought actually after that. But he didn't get a notable win, in my opinion, after the Khabib loss. And he l- overlooked Dustin Poirier. He thought he was the same Dustin Poirier that he fought the first time. He was sadly mistaken and felt the hard consequences, learned the lesson the hard way. But I think this time he's going to be more focused. And I believe he could have finished him the first fight had he just been more aggressive. I think Connor comes out more aggressive, gets in his face in the beginning, makes it a more uh, technical striking fight, but a more aggressive stance, a more aggressive approach. I think he will knock out Dustin Poirier, and I'm going to go with Conor McGregor, knock out in the second round. So uh, that's the biggest fight, of course, the biggest fight of the year, unless Conor fights again. But other than that, um, I'm going to, it's a very tough, tough, to be honest, I'm going to just tell you right now, I go for Conor McGregor, but I don't think he's going to win. You're the opposite of me. I go for Dustin Poirier, but I think Conor McGregor is going to win. Now, come on, man. Come on, man. Everyone goes for Conor McGregor. Only the haters don't. But Dustin Poirier is a win-win situation. He's already cashed in. <laughs> Dustin Poirier is already cashed in. As you, as you said, he just wants to feed his family, and that's already done. He got the trilogy. He cashed in two times. You know, like Connor changed his lives. He changed Dust, uh, Nate Diaz's life. Uh, life. He's gonna change Dustin Poirier's life. Khabib's. Khabib's life. They can all enjoy retirement. So either way, he's gonna win. But I think Connor can win if he does goes back to his karate stance because his boxing stance is too close range, and that's where he can land the leg kicks. Because karate stance, he's bouncing around, he's moving in and out. It's harder to do the calf kicks for Dustin Poirier, and that's the main reason he won. But what Connor really needs to watch out for, I think, is I think he's going to be too, focusing too much on the low kicks that Dustin might come up high with one of the kicks and might catch him one. That's what that's what I'm scared of. That's what I think he might land. But like Connor hasn't shown too much of being super super durable, so that's why I'm thinking Dustin Poirier in the late third fourth rounds. You know, Dustin Poirier has been in a lot of wars, but. I can't doubt Conor McGregor because against Diaz, he went all five rounds. And Diaz is as durable as they come. Plus, he's not looking forward to any boxing match this time. He's very, very motivated. He's not looking forward to any of his fights. He's never even brought his family, I think, to this fight. That's how much he just wants to pay full attention to this fight. So, I'm, I'm just going to say what Habib Nakhmadov said. First round or two, it's Conor. And then if it goes later than that, I think Dustin got this. All right, that was a great breakdown, but who's your pick? Who did you pick? If Connor comes out aggressive and doesn't worry pick about... Pick one fighter. No, let me just finish it. Connor comes out aggressive and doesn't hold back. He held back a little bit last time. You know, he doesn't want to conserve energy maybe or something. But if he just goes all out, he, he had Dustin hurt. Dustin said it himself, he'll finish him in the first round or two. But if it goes later, like I said then Dustin will win, I think. Listen, you're still not answering the question. I get what you're trying to say, but I'm giving you a hypothetical. Let's say the odds are dead even. I can't. Right? No, their odds are dead even. You have to put money on someone. Let's just say it. Okay? Who are you putting your money on? Not how they win, not when they win. Who wins? Just answer the question. I'm not sure. I'm 50-50 on this one. I'm going to say it again. Dustin later, Connor earlier. But if I had to choose one, if I was... If I had to choose one, I would go with Dustin, but I think, but I cheer for Connor. Even though Dustin's a great guy, he's doing a lot of great work for his charity and everything. I, I personally think Dustin might be the best fighter in the division, 
him or Connor. But I, I like I said, if I had to choose one, I would go with Dustin. Doing a lot of great work. Connor doing a lot of great work outside the octagon. They both they're both doing well. So it's a win win situation for both, I guess. All right. Well, I'm going with Conor McGregor via second round knockout. I just think if he comes out more aggressive, he'll hit him because he has more precision, more timing. He's, I think he's a better striker overall. Although Dustin has amazing boxing, but I think Conor, if he hit, if he get, is more aggressive, he's gonna land. He's gonna hurt him, and if he pushes, he can get the finish like he would have done in the second fight, but he never pushed for the finish. As far as coming to check the, uh, check the leg kicks, I mean, you got to always check the leg kicks. The low calf kicks are a killer. They absolutely destroy your leg. They eat up at your muscles. They really tighten you up. And, you know, you can't really, fu- you can't function. You can't move around. Once that movement's gone, I think it's an easy win for Dustin. But I think Dustin is going to be a better boxer as well. Although Connor's a better overall striker, I think Dustin might just be a little better boxer. So it is going to be a close fight, but... I'm going to stick with my pick. All right. That was our little breakdown of the main event and the card. So thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, if you, you can decide who's going to win, give us your picks, give us the, um, your predictions, and let's see what happens. And we'll probably do a, a, a podcast episode right after the fight to break it down. And thank you guys for listening once again. Take care. Stay healthy. And once again, this has been Sports Talk from two Canucks up north, eh?